In the last tutorial I quickly showed how to use patterns to speed up your model development. In this tutorial I will show you how to use design sets. Design sets allow you to collect a series of disparate design parameters into a single dialog so that you can change their values and observe the effect on your design outputs. The best way to illustrate how they work is to use an example. The screen shows the basic parts of a crank slider mechanism. Its job is to push a pack with a specified maximum velocity into a hole, say. The pack is on the right and weighs just over a kilogram. The mechanism is driven by a cam, which in turn is driven by a motor. We want to minimize the size of the cam and the contact force acting on the cam. To simplify this case, let's assume the camshaft position, the pack position and the motion are fixed. But we can change the position of the roller on the follower arm, the length of the follower arm, the length of the coupler, and the position of the follower arm pivot. The first job is to name the dimensions that we want to change to something easily understood, so I will quickly do this. So we have the coupler length, the rocker length, the rocker pivot X, the rocker pivot Y, the roller angle and the roller radius. Now we are ready to create our design table. So first add the function block and then add all the dimensions that we have just renamed. First I need to add a parameter frame for each dimension. So unlock the design set and hit the green button six times. Then add each dimension by clicking on them. The dimensions names will appear in the active parameter frame. Now we are ready to start improving our design. We need some figures of merit to show we are heading in the right direction. I have chosen the cam's pressure angle and the cam contact force which are shown in the plot. So now I can start changing the dimensions in the design set using the scroll button. You can see that as I do this, the graphs are updated instantly. This shows the efficient solving of kinematic equations that Mac Designer uses uh, comes into its own when optimizing designs. I'm sure that many designers out there could use this to improve this mechanism better than I, so I will leave this here. Suffice to say that we have used this in more complex designs and found that it greatly speeds up the engineering process. So that's a very quick run through design sets in Mech Designer.